Here is a clock. A clock has 12 numbers on it. It goes from one all the way around to the number 12. Can you help me put the numbers on the clock? You can. Great. What number should we start with? Yes, let's start with the number one. What color is the number one block? Yes, it's pink. Can you find where to put the number one on the clock? That's right, it goes right here. Perfect. What number is next? Yes, number two. Can you tell me what color the number two block is? That's right, it's red. Where can we put the number two block on our clock? Yes, we can put it right here. Perfect. What number comes next? Yes, number three comes next. Can you tell me what color the number three block is? That's right, it's orange. How many sides does the number three block have? One, two, and three. The number three block has three sides. Do you know what shape that is? That's right, it's a triangle. Where on the clock can we put our number three block? Here? That's right. Let's put it in the number three spot. Next. That's right, it's number four. Can you tell me what color the number four block is? Yes, it's green. How many sides does the number four block have? Let's count. One, two, three, and four. The number four block has four sides. What shape has four sides? Yes, a square. Where can we put the number four block on our clock? Right here? Yes, that's right, great job. What number comes after four? Yes, it's number five. What color is our number five block? It's green. How many sides does our number five block have? Let's count. One, two, three, four, and five. Our number five block has five sides. Can you find where we put the number five block on our clock? Yes, it's going to go right here. Great job. What number comes after five? Yes, it's six. Here is the number six block. What color is this block? Yes, it's blue. Do you know where to put the number six block on our clock? Yes, I see it as well. We're going to put it right here. What number is next? Yes, it's number seven. Here is our number seven block. What color is the number seven block? That's right, it's pink. Do you know what shape the number seven block is? It has one long rounded side. Yes, this is an oval shape. Where can we put the number seven block? on our clock. Perfect, let's put it right here. What number is next? It's number eight. Can you tell me what color the number eight block is? That's right, it's red. Where on our clock should we put the number eight block? Right here? Let's see if it fits. Perfect, that's right. What number comes after eight? Yes, it's nine. What color is our number nine block? 
That's right, it's orange. Can you tell me where to put our number nine block on the clock? Let's see. Yes, it goes right there. What number comes after nine? 10, number 10. What color is the number 10 block? Yes, it's green. How many sides does the number 10 block have? Let's count. One, two, three, and four. Do you know what shape this is? That's right, it's a diamond shape. Let's see where we can put this on our clock. How about right here? Perfect. What number comes after 10? Yes, 11. 11 comes after 10. What color is our number 11 block? That's right, it's green. Let's count the sides on the number 11 block. One, two, three, and four. The number 11 block also has four sides, but this shape is a little different. It's a little bit longer. Do you know what shape this is? It's called a rectangle. Let's see where on our clock we can fit our number 11 block. Perfect, it goes right here. We have one more number left. What number is left? That's right, number 12. This is the last number on our clock. What color is the number 12 block? That's right, it's blue. And do you know what shape this is? It has five points. One, two, three, four, and five. That's right, it's a star shape. Let's add the number 12 right at the top to complete our clock. Now we have all 12 numbers. Tick, tock, tick, tock. I have all of these ingredients for my lunch, but I need some help matching them together. Can you help me match my ingredients together so I can eat my lunch? You can? Great! All right, what should we match first? I have one half of the blueberries. Can you see the other half of the blueberries? Is this the other half? Hmm, no. Is this the other half? Let's see. Oh, it's a perfect fit. I have two halves of the blueberries. Now I can eat them for my lunch. Let's put them down right here. All right, what's next? I see one half of the cheese. Can you help me find where the other half of the cheese is? Is this the other half of the cheese? It's not. What about this? Let's take a look and see if they fit together. Wow, they fit perfectly. Now I have both halves of the cheese. Let's put it down right here. What's left? Do you see a sandwich? Do you see two halves of a sandwich? Let's take a look. Here's one half. Is this the other half? Yes, they match perfectly together. Now I have an entire sandwich for my lunch. Thanks for helping me match. Now I have one sandwich, one piece of cheese, and some blueberries. I'm all ready to eat my healthy lunch. We have a grocery basket. Let's take a look and see what's in our basket. Do you know what this is? It's bread. Bread has a crust on the outside and inside it's light and fluffy. We use bread to make sandwiches. Let's see what else is in our grocery basket. Do you know what this is? It's a green vegetable with a stem and a leafy top. That's right, it's broccoli. We can eat broccoli raw when it's crunchy or we can cook it and eat it when it's soft. I wonder what else is in our grocery basket. This is a fruit and it's red. Do you know what this fruit is? That's right, it's a strawberry. 
Strawberries have little seeds all around them, so they're a little bit bumpy, and they have a green leafy top. They taste nice and sweet. Hmm, let's see what else is in our grocery basket. This is an egg. Do you know where eggs come from? That's right, they come from chickens. There are so many ways we can eat eggs. We can fry them, hard boil them, or even scramble them. We also use eggs in a lot of recipes, like when we're baking a cake. I see a few more things in our grocery basket. What's this? Oh, it's orange and it's a vegetable. Do you know what this is? Yes, it's a carrot. Carrots can come in all different sizes. You can have big carrots or baby carrots like these. Lots of animals like bunny rabbits love to eat carrots. They're very healthy for us. Hmm, there is one more thing in our grocery basket. It's milk. What animal does milk come from? That's right, it comes from a cow. Here's a cold glass of milk just for us. Cheers! Thanks for helping me with my groceries.